Hey everybody, it's Dr. Sarah Gottfried of sarahgottfriedmd.com and I am here today to talk about mold. I'm here with the mold expert, Michael Schrantz. Hi, Michael. Hi, good morning. So we are in my home, welcome to my home, and we're testing it today. So Michael is an expert at whether someone has mold in their home and we're gonna talk a little bit about what that means and why some people are at risk. How did you get into this? It started uh, back in uh, the, early, the late 90s, I'm not that old, uh, and was involved with uh, air conditioning companies, condensate leaks, creating mold problems. It, it bloomed into other issues environmentally, and I saw a passion. I could understand why things were happening the way they were, I understood building sciences, oh. all that relate to this whole thing with contaminants in a home, and I just loved it, and I decided to go out and pursue it. Okay, passion project. I love it. So mold is so interesting to me. You know, there's a long list of symptoms that we'll get into in another video. But what I've encountered myself is that a lot of people are getting exposed to mold. And they don't know that that's the reason why they're exhausted and um, have this kind of chronic inflammatory situation going on. And what I learned, what really shocked me, is that half of the buildings in the U.S. are water damaged. Half! Yeah, it's an amazing number. It's the bottom line is is buildings are built by man, uh, things leak, things fail over time, and it gives reason to start looking and considering whether or not these areas where there could be water damage can produce uh, uh, microbial growth. Yes, mold, uh, there's other contaminants, but primarily mold. So. Yeah, and so the problem is if you have a place with water damage and you have moisture, and you have mold, that combination is, is not good. It's the soup that creates a bigger problem because we live in boxes and you know, back when we were living outside but next to a bush, we were the air was diluted, there wasn't much of an exposure, but when you confine your space and then you have a problem inside, it equals a potential issue. And this is not just in, in places where there's a lot of rain, right? Like oh. it's not just Seattle and Portland where this is a problem. I live in Tucson, Arizona, and uh, it's, a, it's a dry state. Uh, and uh, we have we have the same roof leaks, the same plumbing leaks that uh, folks out in uh, the more humid climates have. Um, we do there are a couple differences naturally, uh, relative humidity and things like that. But yeah, it's just because you live in a dry climate doesn't mean you don't have a mold problem. Yeah. So listen up. So I, I want to just end the video today talking about why some people are more susceptible than others. So we know that about 24% of the population has the mold susceptibility genes. And we'll talk in another video about what that means. But 24% have these mold susceptibility genes. I'm one of them. Yeah, sorry to hear that. Yeah. So bottom line is uh, everyone, uh, we, we, as, as, as individuals, whether or not you're one of those 24 percenters or not, you don't want to be exposed to any elevated levels. But when you are one of those 24 percenters, uh, you know, the risk goes up. Because now like ninety five percent. Yeah, and the doses uh, of the exposure, if you will, is almost secondary to the fact that it's present in the home in the first place. So you you have to take the extra steps if you want to have what you call a sanctuary to live in. Uh, you need to make sure that you don't have any problems in the home. And so yeah, the twenty four percenters, you're taking that extra step to make sure that you don't have water damaged uh, issues going on in the home, so that you can live a healthier life because of your susceptibility to uh, to mold exposure. Well, I, I like this idea of sanctuary. So I think I want to end on that note that we all want to create a sanctuary in our home that gives us the lowest potential exposure to mold. If you want to learn more about this, go to my website, sarahgottfriedmd.com. I've got this whole series of blogs that I am reporting about mold, about my experience with Michael today in my home. So you can go to sarahgottfriedmd.com to learn more.